Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk about tomotherapy. What is tomotherapy? It means slight in Greek, so it delivers radiation slight by slight. It is imaging guided as a crucial IMRT for SRS since 1990s. These photos bring a visual view of tomotherapy. A patient lying down on a couch. Moving through the boa, while a narrow, intensive, intensely modulated pencil being delivered from a rotating gum tube. The mask can be applied as well. Tomotherapy in contemporary radiation therapy. Tomotherapy can image in patients and deliver a wide variety of treatment. Because the simple bower is integrated with an advanced imaging guided guided IMRT system. Precise IMRT treatment can be delivered with the imaging guided. It performs integrated QA and verification, all being direction available and the flexible being arrangement. The advantage of the online Mega voltage CT for daily verification and those calculations makes tomotherapy beneficial for the specific organ and risk those constraints. I have listed the tomotherapy technical aspects as follows. We can see its sequential coconut helical radiation therapy with high therapeutic dose. It is for fractionations, natives, RT treatment and allowing boosting. Using binary MLC for IMRT. It's six day registrations and allows 4D planning system uh, 4D planning and delivery. MACT provides sufficient imaging quality as well. The plan optimization based on the physical objective functions, which is dose based. It can provide online volumetric imaging guidance and a plan adaptation. This is a table of tomotherapy technical aspects with more details. Some I have mentioned earlier. But we can see it's a little bit more here. I will go through the advantages and the disadvantages in the following slides later. As to its dosimetrics, tomotherapy can achieve best target conformity, dose uniformity, and best organ at risk normality to vary among SRS technology. Compared to IMRT, it has comparable dose distribution and inferior dose gradient. The dose to normal tissue is comparable. Tomotherapy has a higher flexibility for treating larger or multiple lesions. However, there are twofold increase in the treatment time and sixfold increase in the normal tissue volume receiving low dose. This is a slice of the advantages of tomotherapy in summary. Most of them I mentioned earlier in other aspects. And also tomotherapy has its list, uh, limitations listed here. And it is also like somewhat from the other aspect as well. I have to mention that tomotherapy might cause uh, the claustrophobia to patients. Maybe. Tomotherapy in Australian clinical practice. So far in Australia, Enrolled Brisbane and Warmer Hospital has possessed only one tomotherapy system. 
why tomotherapy uh, has not yet been seen routinely. The most major I issue is the cost, not only the purchase cost, but the operation cost as well. Second, the low daily patient intake cap capacity of the tomotherapy makes patient waiting list longer because we treat each patient longer. Since it's new, it lacks sufficient research or retrospective review to support the promising outcomes. Obviously, the new machine installed, there will be new system, new protocols to follow, and it requires more training for staff, more QA and follow-up services and maintenance. What if the only one tomotherapy machine broken down for a day? Wow, it will be very chaos and a disaster for the center. However, the future of tomotherapy is still bright. Like I MRI in the early stage, tomotherapy can be spreaded for its unbeatable advantages, especially when the cost gets down, down. Thank you.